Hi everybody, today's camera comparison is between the Huawei Pura 70 Ultra and the iPhone 15 Pro Max. We will start with this abandoned family fun place and we will zoom in on Homer Simpson. Let me know when you have spotted him the first time. Using the ultra wide and the One X, both phones are actually quite close to each other. Something that caught my eye, that the reflections in the window are much clearer on the Huawei compared to the iPhone where they are very toned down. When we zoom in, we can see that the Huawei Pura 70 Ultra has the edge in clarity and sharpness. Especially with the 3.5x optical lens, the Huawei has a clear advantage over the 3.5x digital zoom of the iPhone, which of course is expected. It is even doing a good job against the 5x optical lens of the iPhone, but the picture looks a little bit too clear for my eyes, removing also things which actually wear there like dirt and such. Another thing which is obvious with the Pura 70 Ultra is that the picture is mostly brighter, especially in darker corners. But overall the quality of the Ultra Wide and the One X shot are mostly very close to each other. Using the 2X Digital, under this little roof here we can see that the Huawei is capturing more details. The 3.5X shot again has a huge difference and the 5X optical of the iPhone can't really um, help the iPhone to pull ahead this time again, also at 10X as well. Now we will incorporate the maximum zoom of the iPhone which is 25X and honestly both phones are not doing a great job with it. The picture is clearer on the Huawei but this is done mainly through heavy processing which makes the picture also look a bit too artificial for my taste. While we zoom in on this badly treated barbecue grill, we can see that up to 2x both phones are actually quite close again to each other. But as we zoom in using the optical lenses, it is again a different game. At 10x the iPhone is even introducing a lot of noise to the picture, which makes it even worse. For this lonely football we will now go up to the maximum zoom of both phones, which of course is 25x as mentioned before on the iPhone, but the Huawei Pura 70 Ultra can go up to 100x. Both are producing usable pictures up to 10x, with the Huawei having the advantage in the higher levels. The 25x shot is actually already producing nothing great, and if we are going up four times from this on the Huawei, the 100x shot is just the same and worse, so not really useful for everyday photography. Now some more samples where we pretty much can confirm the, our previous observations. In sceneries like this, the added brightness helps the Huawei to create the, in my eyes, better image. The tree on the left looks just that much better on the Pura 70 Ultra due to the added brightness and clarity. As we zoom in further, this yellow sign is another indication how the overall quality is better here on the Huawei Pura 70 Ultra. At 10x, again, the difference is quite apparent with a Huawei creating the much sharper image.
One thing I like about both phones is that the colors stay consistent no matter which lens you are using. You can go on the ultra wide, the main lens or on the optical lens. The colors are more or less the same. It is a good thing and it is the way it should always be. And one last time we will zoom in on the big board over there and once again the Huawei is totally dominating the optical and digital zoom ranges. Time for some selfies. The Huawei gives us three ranges for the front-facing camera. The default is a 0.8x, then we can go down to the ultra-wide, which is 0.6x, and in the end we can also just go up to 1x, while the iPhone just has the default 1x. Both are creating a good selfie a day, but I honestly prefer the iPhone because the colors are more true to life and the pictures overall sharper. Now both are on one X and I feel that my face on the Pura looks a little bit too yellowish. And before you ask, all beauty enhancements are disabled, so no beauty mode or whatever on the Pura on. And here I feel that my face looks just too soft on the Pura 70 Ultra. Now switching to the portrait mode for the beautiful artificial bouquet. If you want to have the background blur on the Pura 70 Ultra, unfortunately, you can't use it with the 0.8x or 0.6x option, so you have to use the 1x option. Now having the background blur activated, we can see that the iPhone is doing a much better job with the edge detection, as you can see on my hairs. But the iPhone isn't perfect either, because it is creating some strange artifacts at times. Post recording with 4K in 30 frames per second using the front facing cameras and the Huawei is by default starting with the 0.8x which we can also go, go out to 1x. The iPhone doesn't have any options to zoom in or out. With the front facing cameras we can go back to the 0.8x on the Huawei and then can go up even further and if we stretch our arm a bit and see how much more the Pura 70 Ultra gets in the picture compared to the iPhone 15 Pro Max. So for vlogging it is definitely the better option. Now I'm recording in 4K with 30 frames per second. Both phones are using the ultra wide lens now. The picture looks a bit punchy on the iPhone 15 Pro Max here. The colors look a little bit faded on the Huawei my eyes here. Switch to the main lenses now. Let's go back to the ultra wide on both. Now I will check one time the zooming on both phones, starting with the iPhone with the 1x, 2x, and 5x as on screen buttons here. It's the ultra wide. One, two, and five. And now the same on the Huawei. We have the ultra wide now. Two X. Uh, it was one X, now two X. Four and ten X. So on the iPhone we can go up to fifteen X, which is the maximum zoom length. And the Huawei. Does have 15 as well as the maximum. 
So now I activated the steady shot and action mode on the on both phones. The uh, Huawei has in this mode the option to go to only 1080p while the iPhone can shoot in up to 2.8k. On the Huawei we also just stuck on the ultra wide while the iPhone lets us decide which we want to take. We can take the 1x, go to 2x. And we can even take the five X. So here we go now. I sometimes switch fast to the, through the lenses one time. How the lens switching looks like. So then with the iPhone, go to 1x, 2x, 5x, ultra wide, 2x, 1, 5, ultra wide, 2, 5, ultra wide, 1, 2, 5. Back to the ultra wide now. Now we're in the Huawei. We go to the ultra wide. One, two, four, ten, two, ultra wide, four, ultra wide, ten, one X, four X, ultra wide, one X, ten X. Those are obviously just the on screen options for the zoom, for the fast clicking here. If you like this video till now, please leave a like and a sub would be great too. Anyway, done with the day stuff, let's jump in and we'll take a look at low light photos and videos. While the Pura 70 Ultra has a dedicated night mode, the iPhone 15 Pro Max is deciding whether or not it wants to activate the night mode on its pictures. The first few pictures of the Pura 70 Ultra are taken with the auto photo mode as well. So no night mode for the first one, but you will see down here when I activated the dedicated night mode. So we start with some ultra wide shots and both phones are really not great, but the Huawei is actually even a bit worse in my eyes. Using the main lens now and the iPhone is really clearly doing the better job. And as we zoom in further, the advantage of the iPhone is getting even bigger. Here again, the ultra wide shot of the Huawei Pura is really bad, but this time around, the one X shot is really good. Unfortunately, the 3.5x zoom is a disappointment at night in auto mode, as it was constantly outperforming the iPhone at the day with this lens. And here once again, the ultra wide is not up to the task, just like the 3.5x optical lens. Here the ultra wide shot is actually better on the Huawei now, while the picture is too dark for my taste on the iPhone. The Huawei is using the giving light way better here, and this time even the 3.5x optical lens is taking a good shot. For the upcoming shots now, I activated the dedicated night mode of the Pura 70 Ultra. And unfortunately, the ultra wide is still not performing great. Something I unfortunately already witnessed on my previous camera comparison of the Pura 70 Ultra against the Sony Xperia 1 Mark 6, which I have linked down below. For this set of shots, the night mode is actually not turning anything around for the Huawei phone. This 5x shot especially is showing a huge difference, as we actually should also expect from the 5x optical lens of the iPhone. But keep in mind, at day, the 5x digital lens was keeping up or even outperforming the 5x optical lens of the iPhone. But yeah, low light pictures are always more demanding. Zooming in on these boats gives us the same experience again. A poor ultra wide shot and subsequent shots which are simply inferior to what Apple has to offer. The 3.5 optical lens lets its muscles play this time around though, creating easily the better picture in comparison. And even at 5x it is this time way closer than before.
this cozy corner tells the same story where the Huawei really shines with its 3.5x lens. Now zooming in on that ship and both are doing an equally bad job with the ultrawide and the one X shot is just slightly better. The iPhone is consistently overblowing the lights on the ship and the 2X it is getting even worse, adding some weird lens flare action on the side. At 3.5X the Pura is once again the clear winner now, while the iPhone is still struggling with the light. Switching to the 5X optical lens and the iPhone has finally the control over the lights, not overblowing them anymore. But the Pura 70 Ultra still has a brighter image and retains more details. And for the final round, we'll zoom in on the light sign at the wall and again a very bad ultra wide shot of the Pura 70 Ultra unfortunately, but this time followed up by a really beautiful 1x shot. The 2x shot goes to the Pura in my eyes and the 5x shot is actually really close. Unfortunately, I can't include the 3.5x shot here because it was just taken on one phone. The remote must have missed my click and I unfortunately didn't see it while taking the pictures outside. But we still have to take a look at selfies at night. While both are really not taking a great selfie, I have no idea what is going on in the Pura. It looks almost like somebody applied a comic filter on top of my face, which I promise I didn't do. For this shot I was standing in front of a lamp and the added light is really helping both to create a better image. But still the picture of the Huawei is looking worse in my eyes, making me look way too white. This shot is actually really good from the iPhone in my eyes and I have no idea what the hell is going on the Huawei Pro 70 Ultra again. The picture looks warped at places, maybe it looks like it was edited with a smudge tool and the text of the building behind me looks really weird too. While the front facing camera has created some horrors, taking portrait with the main lens is a whole different story. While the iPhone is doing a good enough job, I really prefer the Pura 70 Ultra here. And when we use the 2x zoom on the portrait, the Pura is really taking the lead, giving the iPhone no chance in comparison. So oh, now it's close to midnight. I'm recording in 4K with 30 frames per second. So we're still close to the main lenses. See on the screen, so uh, iPhone seems to be a lot cooler. The color seems to be more accurate on the Pura 70 Ultra. So I'm uh, recording with the front facing camera, both in 4K with 30 frames per second. Sources which are in orange color, and both phones, of course, struggling with the front facing cameras. Now I'm standing directly under the light. Shame by what I can see here myself, both are not doing a great job actually. I think the iPhone had a bit more details. The Huawei is brighter. Yeah, here's some strange noises coming there from over there. There we have a zoo, and the animals are making themselves known. And now some zooming while filming at night, starting with the ultra wide, and we will zoom in to the max zoom possible, aiming at the light sign up there. So the iPhone has this on screen zooming options from ultra wide, 1x, 2x, and 5x, and in the end, we can manually zoom up to 15x. 
L with a Pura 70 Ultra, again starting with the ultra wide, which at night is really quite useless. The shift in quality going to the main lens is huge. Going to the 2x and then 4x and in the end to the max zoom of 10x. So that was my camera comparison between the Pura 70 Ultra from Huawei and the iPhone 15 Pro Max. I think today both phones are really impressive. If you are somebody who is really using the zoom a lot, the Huawei is the clear winner. Even against the 5x optical of the iPhone, the Huawei is doing a great job at the day. I would say the iPhone has an edge with the ultra wide, and the main lens is quite on par between both. The 2x digital zoom is also quite equal actually, but if we zoom in further, the 3.5 optical of course easy win for the Huawei, but we can't really say the same about the 5x optical of the iPhone. It is mostly on par with the digital 5x of the Pura, so the Pura is doing a really great job and everything above there goes to the Huawei. At night we have a whole different story, night mode or no night mode. Overall I would give the win to the iPhone, especially the ultra wide is really bad on the Huawei. If you want to take pictures at night with the Pura 70 Ultra, the best thing to do is using the night mode and using the main lens. If you want to have great pictures, it is really the only option. The Ultra Wide is consistently producing bad pictures at night. But which of these two phones did you prefer? Let me know in the comments, leave a thumbs up, a sub would be awesome, and we will see you in the next one.